Triple H tries to arm drag Marcelo. That's pretty give pretty you, funny. Give yeah. you some of your own medicine. <laughs> he but, started out uh, with a little comedy routine trying to mar <laughs> arm drag Marcelo. <laughs> Sits into a Sumagieshi sweep. Very nice. Very nice. So Marcelo Garcia on top with the green and yellow belt is up two to zero yes. after about eighty seconds. I feel like these two have met before, Sean. Yeah, I. You know what? I. I. I, I know they. I think they have as well. I'm trying to remember if it was. I. Believe Marcelo won by points. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah. On deck, warming up, we can see uh, Sergio Morai is pacing the sides over there for his match with Hummel Bahal here in a moment. Yeah. Yeah, Jay Show, I think it might have been 2009 Mundials. Yeah, it sounds right. Marcelo trying to get that right arm over that, that knee there. Put so much pressure forward. Lucas Leitch, three quarter guard. My locura! Goes for the underhook. Marcelo into the close guard now. to three quarters. Lucas trying to get to his half guard here. Really trying to get back at, yeah, he's trying to get into that half guard, I think, that he likes there. Yeah, you see Marcelo preventing with his yeah. left hand. He yeah. doesn't want that hand to get under there. Yeah. He knows that's a swamp you gotta fight out of. Yeah. Circling to his right, which is keeping him out of that half guard position. Two to zero after four minutes here. Leitch really wants to get under there. He's right? trying, yeah, he's doing his best. He's burrowing down, but <laughs> Marcelo's preventing. Yeah, he's that, that right hand on the shoulder <laughs> is preventing that from happening. So now back to the close guard. <laughs> yeah, 
Lake looking, was looking maybe to secure an arm. Yep, he's gonna try to get that angle, but Marcelo was up quickly. Pulls him right up to the standing position to shake that knee down. Yep, that opens things up. Yep. Back to close guard. 520 in. I'm almost getting a Bernardo Fardia like feeling here where the same things are being tried repeatedly. And I know it's not like you have a ton of options against Marcelo Garcia. Yeah. But uh, this isn't working for Lucas, right? Yeah. He's trying to get into that half guard scenario he likes, but Garcia is just shutting it off. Would you go so far as to say Marcelo needs to be more active himself? Uh, well, he's winning right now, so, I mean... It's hard to say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there he's trying to sneak that arm through. Marcelo going to full butterfly guard. Circling over. Back into the closed guard. Marcelo lifts him right up. Shake the knee down again, opens up. Same position, sort of a knee slide through. Lucas Leitch and three quarters guard. Yeah, on the other hand, it's not like Marcelo's going to be able to pass at will against a guy like Lucas yeah, Leitch. Yeah, right? that's right. <laughs> yeah. He's very wily down there. Yeah. And he will tie you up. Oh, yeah. Marcelo is passing, there he goes. He's in pretty tight now, so I believe that's what he's wanted from the uh, beginning, but now Lucas does an excellent job of pushing him back into the full guard. You guys can hear the check mat session. Animated, uh, chanting. Seven thirty into the match. Alliance answers with chanting of their own. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas back into a three quarter well, not really. Now three quarters guard. He is still fighting to get to that underhook. I don't think there's any place Marcelo Garcia would rather be on the planet than where he is right now, like competing in the world championship yeah. for the gold. But you think he's feeling any frustration? Uh, I, it doesn't, it's not showing, you know. Uh, he's, he's winning. I, you know, Lucas is doing an excellent job of keeping him at bay, that's for sure. Yeah. And Lucas is insistent on getting into that half. And now he's getting in there a little bit. He's pulling him in. He's pulled him in now. Now we're going to see. Lucas is kind of where he wanted to be with that underhook. Marcelo has squared him back off. We're One minute. Yeah, we're at the nine minute mark. Marcelo Garcia leads two to zero with zero advantages. One minute left to go. Yeah, so this won't be the prettiest victory if Marcelo can stay on top here. Yes. 2 0. But it is a world championship. Yeah. And I've taken home the gold. Twenty seconds left. If there's a sweep, 
Wow. It would have changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He's going for it. Ten seconds left, and he's going to fall back down. Yeah. That's it. Marcelo here in a moment. Just to recap our winners so far in the heavyweight division, we had Adolfo Vieira. Rooster was Bruno Malfacine. Light featherweight, Guillermo Mendez. Featherweight, Hafa Mendez. Lightweight, Gilbert Burns. And now in middle, Marcelo Garcia. Marcelo Garcia. Yes, sir. <laughs> you had another great weekend full of very technical matches. How's it feel to get another gold? Guys, that's my 50 time, and I feel like before it's great, you know. I have such a good time to come here to this place. I always have like a great memory since I got here to the first day of the tournament, and now one more memory like to, to make it. How threatened did you feel in Lucas's half guard? I definitely felt he has a strong position over there, and but if he's strong for him, he could do something, you know what I mean? Not, not just like wait for me to do something. Definitely fits, fits strong move. And the same way I have a strong position on the other side, so we both stay in the middle. But I did a point first, so I was smart. You know I mean? Well, another gold medal from Marcelo Garcia. Let's hear it one more time. I want to. I want to thank everybody that supported me to be here. My family, my friends, my coach, my wife. And Steven Seagal, who taught a lot of the moves that I did today. 